Okay, let's talk sewer hoses for a minute. Not all sewer hoses are um, created equally. Um, what you're going to find is some you have to buy fittings for, some that come in, in kits. What we normally recommend is going with a kit. Um, we, carry, we carry what they call a Dominator sewer hose kit. It's a um, pretty heavy duty sewer hose. It's collapsible to 57 inches. And um, you look here on the floor, I've got one on a stand here. Um, it's 15 foot long. A lot of time people go, wow, that's 15 feet. I thought maybe it was 20. It is 15 feet. Um, the reason that we like this particular type of sewer hose is um, because when it does collapse, it stays collapsed. It's not flimsy like a lot of the others. And then you can kind of bend it and move it how you would like. Um, this particular sewer hose will run you um, $46.95. It's a great value. Um, what you're also going to need is some toilet chemical. Um, there's a lot of different types of toilet chemical. As you can see, we carry quite a selection. Um, the one that we probably recommend the most would be what we call Pure Power. It's an enzyme-based um, toilet chemical. Uh, it'll work in your black and your gray water tank. Um, it ranges from like $8.99 all the way up to your um, one gallon size at about $33.99. Takes about two ounces for a 40 gallon tank. Um, also something to think about in your um, in your toilet chemical ranges would be RV toilet paper. Um, they make a one ply and a two ply. Um, they vary in prices between $3.99 and $6.99 for the two ply. What you're going to run into with with RV toilet paper uh, compared to household toilet paper, it breaks down in small amounts of water which is very handy um, so you don't end up with toilet paper stuck in your tank and then making a, a 30 gallon tank, 40 gallon tank turn into a 5 gallon tank in a couple of years with all the toilet paper that's dried up inside. Next um, we're going to work to the fresh water system. You're going to want to get yourself um, a tasteless water hose. You want to make sure that whatever water hose that you do purchase that it is tasteless. You do not want that rubber taste from a garden hose inside of your system. Um, we carry a 25 footer. It'll run you about $14.99. Um, it is white with a blue stripe so that you don't get it mixed up with your household ones. Um, what you do want to do to make sure that you keep that taste out of there too is a lot of people when they get ready to go on trips um, they will fill their uh, freshwater tank and what they forget to do is use this hose one that they've you know spent a little bit of money on to make sure that they don't taste that rubber taste inside of their tank and what they've done is they use the green one on the side of their house they bought at Walmart and filled their tank so that's something that you need to really really try to remember also the next thing that you probably want to look at would be what we call a water pressure regulator. Water pressure regulator is going to keep the water pressure down uh, in your RV to um, about 50 to 55 pounds. Most of your RVs, their water pressure systems inside are only set to about 50 to 55 as well. So this will keep you from blowing any lines by getting to a park and um, you know there's 50 people there tonight. You got your water on, you wake up in the morning, you're the only one left in town and their water pressure went from 35 to 40 pounds to 120 pounds because everybody left. Next is going to be what we call a, um, a park adapter. Um, it's 30 amp to 110 park adapter. Now your 30 amp to 110 park adapters, pretty simple device, plug it into your plug it into your 30 amp, plug it into your 110. This is very handy for when you're at home, you want to get ready to go on a trip. Um, you can charge your battery, you can get your refrigerator going without wasting all that propane. One thing you do want to remember on using um, one of these is you don't want to use your air conditioner and your microwave at the same time because you will melt them. I sell quite a bit of these to people who have forgotten this carnal car rule. You don't want to run them at the boat at the same time because it will get melted. Now you can purchase, those are about $3.99, you can purchase what they call dog bone adapter, which is a little bit more of a heavy duty one. These here run you about $19.95. Thing is, they melt just as easy as the other. So if you do forget, you're out 19 bucks. I do recommend go ahead and with a cheaper one, buy you a couple of them because most people will forget them and you know leave them on the ground at their house and then they can't seem to find them. Um, other than that, that's going to be most of your basics. 
Now some of the other things to think about too would be we got what they call the blue boy. This is for when you're staying at a park and um, you don't have that big of a gray water tank. So you can dump your gray water, pull it over to their little section that uh, so you can go ahead and dump without having to unhook your RV. Um, you've got a camper, so you're probably not going to run into that too much. Um, they range, if you do decide you want one, they do range between $39.95 and like $245 for the bigger, for your bigger tank. Um, another thing you might want to think about would be like an RV cover. Um, the ones I've got up here, um, fifth wheels, travel trailers, and all that type of stuff. We also do them for campers, um, which I know that you just purchased a camper. Um, and the length camper that you purchased, you're looking about $270 bucks for a for one, um, it definitely will keep the the moisture content in your camper down. Um, that way, in the winter time too, when you've got it stored, you're not having to worry about whether you've got leaks. Um, other than that, um, it's just some other little cool things that we've got. You might eventually think about going uh, and changing your lights on the inside to LEDs. Most of your lights on the inside are going to run what they call 1141 bulb. I've got a little display here that kind of shows the difference. Um, so these are your standard bulbs here. It's going to blind us a little bit. You'll notice the needle on that went to uh, about two and a half, two and a half amps. Same bulbs and LED, a lot better light, uh, about 0.5 amps. Now, I know these do get a little bit expensive. Um, most of these are running about $25 a two-pack. Um, the only difference is, is your regular RV bulbs, just your 1141s, um, they're going to run... Yeah, about 80 cents a piece. Uh, it is good if you are going to get some of those to probably get you a couple boxes because they do burn out quite quickly. Um, your LEDs they have a they have a life of about 150,000 hours or so, uh, compared to about 2,000 hours on your other other type bulbs. Um, other than that, you know, um, that's just all your basics. I mean, other than that, I I carry pretty much a little bit of everything. Um, replacement supplies. If you're wanting to go with some of those bulbs, I do carry what they call an emergency bulb kit. It has most all of your common bulbs that you're going to run into. I mean, it's just onesie twosie type thing. Um, blinker, a blinker bulb, some of your outside bulbs, because um, a lot of these campers carry like 10 different bulbs on the outside a lot of the times. Um, other than that, I think we've got it all. And um, if you have any other questions, I'll go ahead and in my email, I'll write you up and, um, and kind of give you a, a price of all the stuff that we talked about here today. And uh, thanks again for buying all your stuff from me, and have a great day.